Hey everyone, today we have another art journal. I wanted to do an art journal page for the movie Finding Dory coming out this week, June 17th. I went searching for Finding Nemo stickers that had a large enough Dory, and this is a sticker pack that I found. So let's get started. I'm priming the pages of my Moleskine sketchbook with Dina Wakely's white gesso. Once the layer is on, I'm using my heat gun to dry the gesso. Next, I'm using Americana Ultra Blue Deep Acrylic Paint and mixing a tiny bit of Americana Bright Yellow. And then I'm painting it onto the gesso primed pages. I ran out of the paint so I needed to mix up another batch and of course when you mix another batch the color is never the same. So I'm going over the first page again with the new batch of paint. And then heat drying the pages. Next I want it to seem like there's a light shining down from the top. That way it would look like I have a nice natural frame on the page. The darker blue on the edges and lighter more teal color in the center. So to get the teal color, I am mixing ultra blue deep with more bright yellow and this time even adding some dollar store white acrylic paint. And then instead of using a paintbrush and getting brush lines, I use a damp paper towel to paint on the light blue paint. I'm mainly focusing on the center and working my way down and keep going until I have enough coverage. I like the Americana and the dollar store paints aren't as opaque so you can see the darker blue comes through in certain areas. Once the background is all dry, I'm moving on to adding some seaweed. I'm using green tissue paper. I only need a small amount. When I'm cutting the seaweed, I want to make sure that I have pointed ends and not too wide since I want to have many layers. To glue down the seaweed, I'm using Faber-Castell's gel medium. I brush them on the page and then stick the tissue paper on top and go over it again with gel medium. I keep going until I used up all the pieces I had cut. But I felt like I needed more so I'm adding a few more bits. At this point I realized that I liked it when the tissue paper would fold over itself and for the last few pieces I tried to ensure that they did that. I thought it looked more like seaweed with the darker bits in the different areas. And since the background had matte acrylic paint, I went over everything with the gel medium so that everything would have a semi-gloss finish to it. I knew I wanted to add coral to my pages, but I didn't have a stencil or even a stamp. So I decided to use my Silhouette Cameo to cut out some temporary stencils. The file is called Coral Collections. I will link it below. And it has all these different coral shapes, perfect for this project. So I cut them out using the Silhouette Cameo and cut them onto 80 pound cardstock. To get the coral color, I'm using Faber-Castell's Gelatos and the color I'm using is Metallic Melon. It adds a very light shimmer to the coral. Using my palette knife, I'm making sure to mix it well with the modeling paste. And when I'm ready, I grab one of the stencils and layer on as even as I can a spread of modeling paste. Of course I make a big mess when I'm working with it, but it's easy to clean up with a wet paper towel. I'm trying to smooth out the modeling paste, but it just wasn't looking smooth, so I decided to just go with an uneven effect. So I use the edge of the palette knife to create a more stippling texture. Then the next stencil was a little short, so I'm just adding a little bit more at the bottom since the texture doesn't have to be smooth. You can't even tell that it wasn't part of the stencil. So I keep going until I have enough coral, wiping it with a paper towel if I make a mess. I left the coral to dry for a while. And now for the quote, just keep swimming. It's a quote that Dory says in Finding Nemo. I had these pink paisley glitter sticker alphabets for a long time and they will work wonderfully with my layout. I'm using the plastic sleeve that the stickers came in as a guide. I'm working with the last word first. I want to make sure that I have enough room around the coral as well as enough spacing on either side without going onto the second page. Once I have swimming all laid out, I wasn't sure how much room on top I would need and it was hard for me to picture. So I'm using the Starbucks gift card to spell out the word just. It gave me a better place of where to place my words in the center of the layout and within the page. And when I'm ready, I stick it to the page. I did forget the dot I did forget the dot over the last I in swimming, but I'll add that at the end. I continue with the rest of the quote working bottom up. When I got to the word just, it was too hard to position the words, so I transferred them to the clear packaging to see my placement. Now it's time for the stickers. Well, the character stickers. These are Finding Nemo stickers from Sandy Lion. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want Dory to go and the starfish Peach and the octopus named Pearl. 
Good thing I have gel medium everywhere so I can lift off the stickers easily without ripping the paper. Once everyone is in position, I'm going in with some more modeling paste for the air bubbles. I cut six different sizes of circles into silhouette stencil material using my silhouette cameo. And then I cut them into different sections so that it's easier to handle. And then using plain white modeling paste to make the air bubbles. I made generic circles so that I could piece the bubbles together and also I could reuse the stencil for future projects. I wanted to highlight the characters so I tried using a white jelly pen but on the stickers it wouldn't work out well. It would rub off way too easy. Then I moved on to trying to highlight the words but it wasn't working. So to clean out the white gel pen I just used a blender dipped in water to basically wash away the gel pen. Enough with the highlights I went in to create shadows now. Enough with the highlights, I went in to create shadows using Faber-Castell's Pit Artist brush pen. I'm trying to be more mindful of where the light source is and then using my finger to smudge it out. The starfish was more difficult to smudge because it was on tissue paper and it was so close to the coral, but it turned out alright. And there you have the final look at my art journal for the movie Finding Dory. I'm excited to go and watch it this weekend. I really like how this layout turned out, it's so much brighter and more fun than my previous layouts. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project.